What's going on guys, H-Dub, and you know we playing Raid. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today, we're going to be talking about Lady Mikage, who we used in Hydra, and we had a pretty successful run. Now, before you even see the team, or you make comments on the team, because I know everybody's going to be talking about how ridiculous the team is, let's just focus on what she's actually bringing to the comp. So we have a pretty solid build on her for sure, but she's bringing a lot to the comp, especially with, you know, ally attack. We get increased attack, increased crit damage as well. You know, she's bringing in, you know, sort of a pseudo cleanse, decreasing the duration of our debuffs, also decreasing the duration of any, you know, buffs that the enemy has and increasing the duration of their debuffs. So, and increasing our buffs as well, but it, it, it's a it works similar to how cardio will work in here right so cardio is gonna bring you a cleanse he's gonna bring you you know block debuffs as well revive on death and some heals you're kind of getting a, a cleanse here a pseudo cleanse and an increasing your buffs and decreasing the enemy buffs so it's kind of like a strip cleanse you know so not exactly like cardio and what cardio will be providing to the comp but still bringing a ton also on the a1 you know a chance to team up with a Shadowkin faction ally. We're gonna be pairing her with Michinaki, so it works really well. Also places a shield, you know, on the ally with the lowest HP for two turns. This comp doesn't get that low on HP. I'm not even gonna be able to show you the full run on here because it took about an hour. I've ran it already, it took about an hour, but solid champion for sure. We're only gonna be using her in her base form. We do not need to metamorph for the purpose of hydra and hydra she doesn't really need anything here in her metamorph form we only really need the base form and that is the beauty of it we have a cruelty blessing on her at the moment we've got her in relentless let's just take a look at the total stats so she has decent hp okay defense 275 speed let's actually turn on the area bonus so you get 289 speed okay resist really good accuracy kind of overkill on the accuracy we don't really need that much but masteries down into you know eagle eye and this is more for her metamorph form she doesn't really you know need it for her base form much other than to decrease the the buff duration on the enemy so solid standard masteries of course we could have probably gone down the offense tree and been fine as well and try to get some extra damage from war master get her to do a bit more damage because she's not bringing a ton of damage to the comp but she is enabling a ton of damage now let's go into hydra and we will take a look at the team that we are using with her so we're going to be running it on nightmare and we have sophirion in here who's also you know amazing Michinaki, amazing, two Acrisias, and a Chris. Some of these people could have deep, you know, different blessings, could change the blessings around. This is not my account, but I would change, you know, some of these blessings around to get more of a damage output. Soul Reap on a Acrisia, maybe, and uh, changing some of these other champs around. We don't need Brimstone on everyone. We could get more damage output just from swapping around the blessings, but we did get a decent amount of damage, and I will. You know show you all that damage that we did as well so let's go ahead and take a look at the run and just see what makage is bringing to the comp she's going to be you know not doing damage of course but she is going to be helpful we get decreased speed there we're going to hp burn there we get ally attack and go ahead and hit here and we get some nice buffs from makage as you can see chris is feared at the moment Let's go ahead and just hit this head, get fear on all of these guys, because it doesn't matter. Makage is going to go ahead and cleanse us anyway. That's the, the beauty of her. She can go ahead and remove that true fear off, remove, you know, poisons off. She's doing a, 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 a ton. It doesn't seem like a ton, but she is doing a ton. And also, you know, increasing our buff duration. It's just a thing of beauty. So it doesn't matter we can get the get the fear head out of there use makage's a2 go ahead and you know decrease the duration of all of our debuffs and now you know we can do whatever right we can do whatever we want at this point slap it on auto 
and this comp is gonna go the distance. When I was running it for about an hour before prior to, we were able to get up to about 472 million. And I'll show you guys, you know, bits of, of that run as well. But uh, this is a comp that I feel like could easily be doing upwards of, you know, seven, 800 million at least if everybody was, you know, crit capped, if everybody was built to do damage, this comp could definitely do a ton, especially with Sulfurion in here. And we have all of the, you know, ally attack from Lady Mikage. So she is definitely bringing a ton to the table. As far as damage, I don't know what her damage output could be. We would need to crit cap her, try to get her in some sort of damage build. Something other than Relentless or maybe DPS Relentless. She does have an AOE, so... We could potentially put her in a provoke set to help out Chris with the provokes, but this is a solid built Chris, so he does come up, you know, come back around to his provoke, you know, pretty often. Um, if we get decreased speed up on the provoke head, Chris is generally going to keep it provoked because he's around 300 speed right now, and we get turn meter boost for, from Sulfurion, so. It's a solid comp. A Krizia, everybody knows what a Krizia does. Michinaki is providing a ton as well with the Hex. He's doing HP burn. He's teaming up with Mikage every time she uses her A1. So that's in addition to, you know, his passive, him teaming up with everybody else as well. And we're getting HP burn from Sulfurion. So I know this wasn't, you know, a showcase to show off this comp in particular. We're supposed to be talking about Lady Mikage, but the comp has you know really good synergy so if you have lady mikage you have a a michinaki any hp burn champion that you bring in here you bring in artak you bring in a sissia right you bring in any any of those good activation champs hp burn activation champs you got lady mikage michinaki is going to pretty much team up to hit any head um, because he'll be teaming up with her and he'll be teaming up with any ally that attacks you know anyone under hp burn granted the passive proc so i really like this champ for sure i like what she brings to the table it's just running on auto i haven't even clicked on anything but i will show you all the run that we did last night check it out
So as you can see this comp does a ton of damage, huge shout out to Lady Mikage for coming in and giving us ally attack. I'm gonna keep saying it but I wish they would have made Neldor a uh, Shadowkin champion. If they would have made Neldor Shadowkin this would have definitely been a more free to play hard fire knight option for a lot of people. Him teaming up with Mikage and hard fire knight would be amazing, it would be helpful for a lot of people. So. Definitely a missed opportunity there, but I digress. I really enjoy Lady Mikage though. I can't wait to fuse her on my account. Let me know down below if you guys have fused her, if you are using her, if you plan to use her, where you're looking to use her though. And thank you for watching as always. That is all for today, guys. Until next time, be good and be well.